Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It's time to show the toy haul that was awaiting me in China when I got back here from Malaysia. I got back here home probably about five past midnight Tuesday morning. Uh, so that'll be Tuesday the 2nd of May. Today is Wednesday the 3rd of May 2023. If you haven't seen the other toy haul video of the stuff I got in Malaysia, I'll leave in the top right of your screen now. Now I've got loads of great stuff in this toy haul. Brand back in new Fortnite, which you may not have seen before or probably have seen before. Loads of Joy Toy and a Bandai Namco, which it looks phenomenal, 118 scale figure and vehicle, and also a couple of loose bits too. If you want to see all this stuff as soon as it's um public, as soon as it's uploaded rather, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen now. You get to see everything early, no longer waiting three weeks, two months, etc. Okay, let's begin with Fortnite. Okay, first thing, brand spanking new chopper. This is not the original version, it's not the gold version, it is the seven version. Check that out. Now, what I'm really excited about, first of all, the chopper is great anyway. I've got the original version, which I picked up really cheap for like under nine quid in UK, but check out the rocket launcher. On Triggerfish, he's got a rocket that fires. How cool is that? Fantastic! And his new color scheme does look really good. Fits up to seven four inch figures. On the back, it shows you a uh, Master Series Cube Queen, who I missed out on getting over there, unfortunately. Malik, who I think I want to get, and Whiplash Vibin, who I've got and I've reviewed previously. See top right for review of that. That's number one on Fortnite. Number two on Fortnite. Yeah, gotta reach. So I picked up another of the very, very, very good one of Fortnite's best Omega Knight figures. These are absolutely fantastic. Reviewed one previously a month plus back. These are really, really good. Again, link in the top right if you want to see that review. Highly recommended. For, uh, stay upright, don't fall over. Is it fall over? I hope not. This box. We'll go upside down, maybe. There we go. Okay, next up. Fortnite again. I think some of you have seen this. May not, you may not have posted it yet. It is Boxer plus Baroing. Boxer plus Baroing Labuyit Lama Arizona. I have no idea what that says. Uh, this is not English. You can see from the top there. It is a emote series. Is it English? I don't think it's English, this one. Does look really cool. I'm telling a lie, it is English. Um, I saw this a while back, but yeah, but it actually it's growing. It looks quite cute, that sort of box head. Very, very cool. I'll stick that over there. Lastly, for Fortnite, and I've got six of these. I could have bought 11, uh, but I bought six because the six had damaged boxes, so they were cheaper. And these ones are army builders. You're going to love these if you're into your, your military, your sci fi, your acid raid world, your joy toy. Because these look absolutely fantastic. If I can get them all up here at once. And I got the IO or the EO guard. Check out that head sculpt on the gun. I got six of these. One. Two. You can see the boxes are torn at the back. Some are missing the... Uh, Sticky wrap card it says two, three, four, five, and I think six can fit over Ooh, his card's falling out. Six can fit just on top of here, maybe six. Okay, now we move on to the... What should I do next? So much stuff. It's not going to fit, you know. Let's go back a bit more. Let's go on to the Joy Toy. So, I reviewed the Necrons of a day, and I said be careful with the Gauss gun, the handle can uh, sort of break off. And they were very nice in Joy Toy. The same other one. And now you can see how the gun attaches. It's the whole of the spine you have to remove to get, to get the uh, gun off. Of a figure and it plugs in the top it looks like via a uh, semicircle pin so that came okay speaking also of necrons i got more necrons come in as well so let's get a look at these necrons got to lift up stuff first to get to them okay so we got the saturke dynasty maybe 
So we've got an Immortal with Tesla Carbine. That's worth noting out that these come in single boxes where the other ones I reviewed came in double boxes. So two in a box where these are single. So we've got um, the Immortal, we've got the Death Mark, and we've got the Immortal Gauss. Let's put these sort of back over here. Try and get some space going on. Also got from uh, 40k and the other double pack ones with the Gauss. I want to get these to take off the Gauss gun and use these as bucks for for customs. Perhaps an expensive way of doing it, but I think they make they make oh, they fall over. They'll make great sort of oh, stand up. Great sort of generic robot or android customs. Also from 40k, I got the next two sisters of battle. Uh, Paragon Warsuits. So we've got the uh, Order of the Argent Shroud and Order of the Bloody Rose. And you can see there are differences in the weapons loadouts that they have. Otherwise, they're mostly the same. Not completely. There are the differences too. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to fit this now. Maybe I will stick this. I don't know where to do with this. I will stick this one perhaps over here. And then the other one can maybe fit on top over here. There we go. And then this one can go on top over there. This is a this is a balancing act I'd rather not be doing. Don't fall off. Stay there. Okay. Still on joy. Oh, still so much. Still on joy toy. I got the Marine Corps Frogman. I thought these came in a set of three, but they come individually. But fortunately, I bought one, two, three, four of them. So I've got lots of uh, these now. Still on Joy Toy. Okay. We got the I, Battle for the Stars. I thought these were Cult of San Raja when they first came out. Maybe I'm wrong. We got the Wasteland Scavengers. We got Simeon and Spud. So looking forward to these. We got Lendl. And we got Nikos, and only that, still on the Joy Toy, still on the uh, uh, Battle for the Stars, still on the Wasteland Scavengers. I did purchase another three Lendals, because I think he makes a good generic trooper of some description. Not sure where he's going to fit. Can he fit up there? I'm knocking things off now. He'll go there. He can go up there. No, he can't. Doesn't want to. Maybe that way. He can go up there. Okay. And he can go over there. And then lastly... Oh, not lastly. got the loose things as well. Uh, last of the box things. This is probably what I'm most excited about because this is completely new to me. This is Gavan and Sally Barian. No idea what that is. Uh, this is Bandai. I'm assuming it's from a Japanese TV show. Space Sheriff. 40th anniversary. Check this out. How cool does that look? Sidecar opens up. You see it closed there with the figure on it. It is 118 scale. See the figure on the back, very chrome shiny. You can see the actual figure and the sort of sidecar there inside. Looks amazing. That was not cheap. That was around about 70, 80 quid. So really quite expensive. I said that my wife didn't even look at me, so I think I'm doing okay. Oh, no, she looked over now. She kept quiet. So I was doing okay. And lastly, the loose stuff. I managed to find another one of those really cool sort of fantasy skeletons. Just taking out this little bag they put him in. Now, somebody keeps asking me, where do you buy them from? And I keep can't, I keep can't, in fact, I can't even speak now. I always lose his message. I can't tell him. Okay, so here's one. I've got this one already in the red armor here. And he came with a sword. It's that red, sort of pinkish, maroonish red. And then lastly, I got a Marvel Universe Maestro, who's a great figure and becoming much harder to find and much more expensive. He's big, he's bulky, he looks fantastic. So this is my rather big toy haul that was awake for me when I came back from, uh, from China. Some great pieces in that. Again, you don't want to miss these reviews as, they, as soon as they come out, so please do consider joining the Patreon link in the top right 
or not in top right now link in the video description along with discount codes we can find this stuff and a lot of this stuff and all of it and you can buy it at cheaper rates or pre-order okay i will see you in the next video stay happy keep collecting bye bye